Welcome to the Transitions Daily Podcast. Transitions Daily is an online recovery group that offers a daily distribution of popular recovery resources accompanied by a secret Facebook group for discussion. We hope you enjoy today's readings. This is Transitions Daily for February 3rd, read by Sarah M. from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. AA Thoughts for the Day Resentments In AA, we slowly learn that something had to be done about our vengeful resentments, self-pity, and unwarranted pride. We had to see that every time we played the big shot, we turned people against us. We had to see that when we harbored grudges and planned revenge for such defeats, we were really beating ourselves with the club of anger we had intended to use on others. We learned that if we were seriously disturbed, our first need was to quiet that disturbance, regardless of who or what we thought caused it. Twelve Steps and Twelve Traditions, page 47. Thought to Consider Resentment is like acid, eating away at the vessel it is stored in. AA Acronyms Calm Can Anger Leave Me Just for Today Service Tradition 2 For our group purpose, there is but one ultimate authority, a loving God as he may express himself in our group conscience. Our leaders are but trusted servants. They do not govern. The group now has a so-called rotating committee, very sharply limited in its authority. In no sense whatever can its members govern or direct the group. They are servants. Theirs is the sometimes thankless privilege of doing the group's chores. Twelve Steps and Twelve Traditions, page 134. Daily Reflections, Filling the Void We needed to ask ourselves but one short question. Do I now believe, or am I even willing to believe, that there is a power greater than myself? As soon as a man can say that he does believe, or is willing to believe, we emphatically assure him that he is on his way. Alcoholics Anonymous, page 47. I was always fascinated with the study of scientific principles. I was emotionally and physically distant from people while I pursued absolute knowledge. God and spirituality were meaningless academic exercises. I was a modern man of science. Knowledge was my higher power. Given the right set of equations, life was merely another problem to solve. Yet my inner self was dying from my outer man's solution to life's problems, and the solution was alcohol. In spite of my intelligence, alcohol became my higher power. It was through the unconditional love which emanated from AA people and meetings that I was able to discard alcohol as my higher power. The great void was filled. I was no longer lonely and apart from life. I had found a true power greater than myself. I had found God's love. There is only one equation which really matters to me now. God is in AA. As Bill sees it, we discover that we receive guidance for our lives to just about the extent that we stop making demands upon God to give it to us on order and on our terms. That's from the 12 and 12, page 104. In praying, we ask simply that throughout the day, God place in us the best understanding of his will that we can have for that day, and that we be given the grace by which we may carry it out. That's also from the 12 and 12, page 102. There is a direct linkage among self-examination, meditation, and prayer. Taken separately, these practices can bring much relief and benefit, but when they are logically related and interwoven, the result is in an unshakable foundation for life. 12 and 12, page 98. Big Book Quote As each member of a resentful family begins to see his shortcomings, and admits them to the others, he lays a basis for helpful discussion. These family talks will be constructive if they can be carried on without heated argument, self-pity, 
self-justification, or resentful criticism. From Alcoholics Anonymous, The Family Afterward, page 127. 24 hours a day, AA thought for the day. By drinking, we escaped from boredom for a while. We almost forgot our troubles. But when we sobered up, our troubles were twice as bad. Drinking had only made them worse. In AA, we really escape boredom. Nobody's bored at an AA meeting. We stick around after it's over and we hate to leave. Drinking gave us a temporary feeling of importance. When we're drinking, we kid ourselves into thinking we are somebody. We tell tall stories to build ourselves up. In AA, we don't want that kind of self-importance. We have real self-respect and honesty and humility. Have I found something much better and more satisfactory than drinking? Meditation for the day. I believe that my faith in God's power can accomplish anything in human relationships. There is no limit to what these two things can do in this field. Only believe and anything can happen. St. Paul said, I can do all things through him who strengthens me. All walls that divide you from other human beings can fall by your faith in God's power. These are two essentials. Everyone can be moved by these. Prayer for the day. I pray that I may try to strengthen my faith day by day. I pray that I may rely more and more on God's power. Hazelden Foundation, P.O. Box 176, Center City, Minnesota. 55012. I'm Sarah, and I'm an alcoholic. We hope you enjoy today's readings. You can also receive Transitions Daily via email and discuss today's readings in our secret Facebook group. So for more information, go to dailyaaemails.com today. Other than the 24 hours a day reading, unless otherwise specified, all quotes copyright Alcoholics Anonymous World Services, Inc., 1952 through 2001.